what will make you have the significance you're looking for is to get healed let god remove the things that he did not plant in you what will make you get the value you are desiring is to get healed and become whole so that you can come to the blueprint of the man the stature of man that god wanted you to be anything in us that do not look like christ is not god's planting it needs to be removed and you need to come to a place that you are allowing god's planting in today's video i want to talk about God will uproot what he did not plant. Now, this is from the scripture in Matthew chapter 15, where Jesus said, Every plant not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted. Before I give you the context of this scripture, I was inspired by this scripture because I realized that in our lives individually, there are so many things in our lives that God did not plant, whether they be ideas or thoughts or mindsets perception and everything they are not the perception that god planted of course you realize that being born as a human being if you know the scripture and even if you don't know since god created the first man adam and adam felt men all men that came through adam now came with the nature of adam with a fallen nature and that was the reason for redemption through christ jesus and jesus coming was to restore and redeem man back to redeem means to buy back so that man can come to a place of the blueprint that god made which means all the things that we get to struggle with the trauma the pain and every other thing that we struggle with have become a limitation to us but they are not meant to stop us from progressing and from becoming all that god wants us to be in life and that is why i am talking about this today that whatever thing god did not plant in your life you will uproot it you will remove it and how will this happen the first thing you need to know is that you have a responsibility to play for God to remove the things that he did not plant. For me not to get ahead of myself, the context of Matthew chapter 15 talks about Jesus having a conversation with the Pharisees, the religious leaders of his time. And these men came to Jesus and said a lot of things. Your disciples do not wash their hands to eat. They are defiled. And Jesus told them, what comes through your mouth and enters your body does not defile you. It is what comes out of you because what comes out of you is from your heart, which is the adultery, the fornication, the evil thoughts, the wickedness, and every other thing comes from the heart. And that is what defiles a man. That shows the content of who you are. And most of the time, if you want to talk about the natural life that we live, you realize that all of us have a lot of negativity inside of us that some of it came through our dna some of it came through our family line our bloodline and most of it we cannot even have control over it because the people that came ahead of us our parents did not fight this thing so because they struggled with it and they did not deal with it they transferred it to us through the blood through the way we saw them act through the way they parented us our upbringing and everything and somehow we have caught this fear we have caught the anxiety that was in the bloodline and some people have caught depression from their bloodline i was speaking with a friend of mine and we were talking about the fact that we did not cause this thing we are fighting things that we are not to be blamed but then you don't have a choice but to fight it because you need it to be uprooted so that it will not affect your progress in life talk about a farmer right a farmer goes to his farm plants seeds and the seeds start sprouting and brings out you know comes out of the ground before the farmer gets back to the farm another plant has grown out of the ground with the plants that he planted and these other plants are called unwanted plants because they did not plant it and that is the plants we call weeds the farmer has planted his own seeds that has started growing and now weeds have come up he did not plant that one but does that mean he will go and say oh i did not plant this so that's not my business no he did not plant it he has to uproot it which is the point that god did not plant a lot of the things that we are struggling with and he has the power to uproot it and with partnering with him he will uproot the things that he did not plant in us and our responsibility is to identify those things and bring them to god
What are the traumas? When you identify the trauma you're struggling with, when you identify the struggles, um, the negativity inside of you, whether there be fears or anxieties, when you identify the things that has happened to you, maybe you were abused and then you've struggled with a lot of trauma out of that, bring it up to God. God did not plant it. God did not cause what happened to you to happen. God did not cause for your parents, if you're someone that your parents abused you, God did not cause it. Yeah, I know you could blame God, put the blame on God. God, why? Why me? I experienced that when I was molested and I was like, God, why me? And the thought came to me, would you have expected this to happen to someone else? I said, no, I wouldn't even want this to happen, like what we say, to my worst enemy because it's not good. And God said, yeah. So it happened for a reason. The wheat have come up. God did not plant it. I'm not responsible for it, but I'm responsible to remove it. So with partnering with God, talking about trauma, you can go for therapy. You can decide to work on yourself. You can decide to do things to heal from the trauma you've experienced. I hope that this is a message that is beneficial for you. God will not do anything without your permission. God will not walk into your life, batch into your life and start saying, I'm going to remove this because I did not plant. You have to give him consent to do that. I know I'm using a farmer to identify this thing, but it's as a result of me saying, when a farmer discovers that there are weeds in his plant, he has to take up the duty to go and remove the weeds so that these plants can grow. Now, the weeds actually compete with the plant for its growth and if not removed on time it causes stunted growth for the plant if not removed on time the harvest become very limited very minute and the crop kind of like reduce in quality so there are so many disadvantages of allowing the weed to continue and this is to say i'm just speaking generally if you allow the struggles that you're going through without being intentional about working on them they are going to shrink your life they are going to shrink the quality of your results in life they are going to shrink the quality of your harvest in life they are going to compete with you for nutrition for living healthy for living well it might lead you to a place of brokenness and that is me saying i don't know the fear the particular fears that are in your bloodline that are in your family i discovered for me so let me not just sound like i'm just speaking you know about things i don't understand there's some anxiety that i feel that did not come from me because i've i've been reading scripture scripture says instead of anxiety pray but i discovered that sometimes i worry over things because i care like i care about people i care about my friends and the people that are in my life and because i care sometimes it comes like this heavy anxiety that i start to have evil thoughts maybe bad things will happen to them like i care so much that it takes me to a negative place once i see myself in that place i have to withdraw back and then i came to a place that i realized that this didn't come from me because i've seen my mom like that in some places that she cares so much that oh she will call you up, check on you. If your voice is somehow, she starts saying, why is your voice like that? She start becoming scared because she cares so much. And then she's becoming anxious because of caring too much. I discovered that that is from them. And there are so many other things that I am discovering that did not come from me. Now I'm bringing this to God to address it with God. God, you did not plant this in me. This has to be taken out. God did not plant these fears because scripture already says that God did not give you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That is self-control. God, you did not plant this negativity in me. It has to be taken out of me. God, you did not plant this heart, anger, whatever it is, rage. You didn't plant it. And there are so many things I'm addressing. I am on a journey a work in progress and i want you also to get on a journey with your life because so many things which is why when you read scripture you see paul say do away with this fleshly thing mortify the works of the flesh so that you can be looking up to christ be concerned about the things above which is christ and living a humble life and living the fruit of the spirit you can't do that when you are struggling with these things and you are not dealing with them so you have to come to a point that you are actively and intentionally dealing with these things because god wants to remove every plant that he did not plant in you but you have to bring it up and submit it to him which is a place of trust and surrender cast your case unto the lord for he cares for you these are our case bring it to god what are those things identify them 
bring them up in prayer and then do active work of your own as god leads you amen an example of someone that did work for himself was jabez this is my conclusion jabez was born and given a name that became a stigma for him something that he did no wrong it was not his fault that he was named jabez do you know the meaning of jabez it means sorrow imagine that you're walking on the street people are calling you sorrow 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 it becomes a stigma that people are making fun of you because of your name and jabez didn't take it up with his mom because the mom gave birth to him in pain and named him jabez he didn't go to fight his mom and say why did you name me this neither should we go back to start fighting our parents why didn't you people deal with these things why do i have to struggle with these things that you people do not deal with why do i have to struggle with these things that you people do not deal with no, it's your responsibility now to pick up those things and address it with God. Now, Jabez picked up his situation and went to God to address it with God. And he told God, bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. Do not let me cause pain, neither should you let pain come to me. Don't let me be pain, neither should I cause pain. He's trying to say, God, reverse the reality of this situation that I am in. And the Bible says clearly, just two verses. And God granted Jabez his request. Second Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. It was not put there by mistake. And he became a much more honorable man than all his brethren. What will make you have the significance you're looking for is to get healed. Let God remove the things that he did not plant in you. What will make you get the value you are desiring is to get healed and become whole so that you can come to the blueprint of the man, the stature of man that God wanted you to be. In Ephesians, it talked about God giving the gifts of the apostles, of the prophets, of the pastors, and their work was to edify the body of Christ so that they will come to the full stature of the image of Christ. And that is what we are to become these things that we are struggling with that do not look like christ and not what god planted in us anything in us that do not look like christ is not god's planting so it needs to be removed and you need to come to a place that you are allowing god's planting to be manifested in you the fruit of the spirit like paul said this life that i live it is not i that live it is Christ that lives in me. I live by faith of the Son of God who died for me and gave himself for me. You have to come to a place of total submission and surrender to Christ and tell him this life, these things that are in my life, I did not sign up for these things and you did not plant these things. So I surrender to you. And I believe that if you take up your responsibility and do this god is willing and ready to remove those things that he did not plant in you and make you a whole man so that you will stand out at the other end and see that light at the end of the tunnel from your struggles you stand out a victorious man that is whole that you're not just winning at your career but you're winning with your family you have a whole heart and a healed soul amen Thank you for watching today's video. I am Uwem Akban. Do well to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Share it to someone. I believe this video is going to bless someone. And I was inspired to make it. It is for me also. I'm going to rewatch this video as much as possible to make sure that I am identifying things in my life so that I can address it with God who made me. Because those things he did not plant in me, he will remove them, uproot them from the root. Amen.